Hello, I'm Jobin, an operations engineer here at the AWS office in Bangalore. Today, I'm going to show you how AWS Managed Services customers can provision custom maintenance windows in their accounts by submitting automated RFCs or RFCs from AWS Management Console. Let's get started. Note that to be able to create a maintenance window in an AMS account, your account must be onboarded to the Patch Orchestrator solution. To create a maintenance window, after logging into AWS Management Console, navigate to the Services drop-down list at the top and then enter and select Manage Services. In the Manage Services Console, navigate to RFCs through the navigation pane on the left. Choose the Create RFC button in the top right portion of the content pane. On the next screen, you can choose to search the RFC change type either by entering the keywords or by entering the category, subcategory, item and operation. To search the correct change type ID, enter Create SSM Patch Window. Select the entry Create SSM Patch Window and Click on Create RFC. Or to search the change type on the basis of category, subcategory, item, operation, select Deployment as category, Patching as subcategory, SSM patch window as item, and Create as operation. Then click Create RFC. On the next page, enter a subject or title of the RFC. Add a description of the RFC, such as what you want it to do. For now, let's skip the additional configuration and email notifications and assume the schedule to be ASAP. Name. Enter a name so that you can identify the maintenance window. Patch group. Enter the values of the patch group tag key. The maintenance window will execute for those instances that have patch group tag with the value that you mentioned here. You can add up to 25 tag values. Enter comma separated values. Schedule. You can enter the execution schedule of your maintenance window. For example, if you want your window to run on every third Saturday of the month at 5 am UTC, enter the following cron job. Note that by default, the time mentioned in the cron expression is in UTC. If you want to specify the time in your local time zone, then enter your time zone under additional configurations, which we will discuss next. Duration. In AMS, it's a best practice to choose a patch duration of at least four hours. Notification emails. You can enter a tab separated list of up to five email addresses that will receive the notification about the patch execution. Additional configuration. Description. Enter a description of your SM patch window here. Schedule offset. This is the number of days after the time mentioned in cron expression when the patching will be performed on your instances. The default value is zero. Max Concurrency. This field describes the number of concurrent SSM patch executions that can be triggered during the patching. This value should be well under the SSM concurrent limit of your AWS account. If you want to increase the concurrent execution limit of the SSM, then you can raise a service request with AMS. The default value is 33%. Max Errors. This field is the maximum percentage of errors that can occur before the patch schedule stops and the execution is marked as failure. The default value is 100%. Cutoff. This is the maximum number of hours for the completion of maintenance window schedule when SM will work to install patches on the instance. For example, Suppose you have a lot of instances in a 4-hour maintenance window and you configured cutoff to be 1. This means that SM will not patch any new instances after maintenance window is more than 3 hours old. Start date. This is an optional field. This is the date when you want your maintenance window schedule to be valid. 
If you leave it as blank, the cron expression is immediately considered valid and the next patch windows will be scheduled as per the cron. End date. This is the date when the subsequent cron schedule will no longer be valid and no new patches can be done as part of this window. Schedule time zone. The default time zone is UTC. You can also specify time zone in IANA format according to your region. After filling the details, click Run. After you submit the RFC, you might need to wait for a minute or two before it succeeds. After the RFC status succeeds, you can scroll down the page to find the AWS CloudFormation Stack ID and the Maintenance Window ID. So, you now know how AMS customers can provision a maintenance window in their account. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.